My apologies, sir. I was issued a defective cleansing unit. Don't make excuses. You're clearly defective, and I intend to report this. Perhaps after you've been disassembled, we can use your components to make something that's actually useful. Yes, sir. Good, we're all here. I think it's time we begin. Sir, excuse me, but what exactly is he doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ao has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes, um... Watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. We're still monitoring the increased activity around Ford Independence, but there are no immediate signs we should be concerned. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on Phase 3? Uh, sir, are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about Phase 3? Have you... What's Phase 3? It's very important to us. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, I'm not talking. With every advance, the inst many compromise. In this world, I'm sure. Quite right. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prospect. Uh huh. Can you tell me more about this? Certainly. It was a re mm -hmm. over the years we've advanced the the reactor is closed and to how you will help, sir. Yes, Doctor Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above ground operations. Yes, well, he is gone. While I'm not overly fond, of uh, y yes, but this is not a matter. Now, there is one more. I don't know that this is the time, Doctor Holdren. It is time, please. As I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Uh-huh. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. What? Can't please, be serious! Everyone, please, I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you, but we're running out of time. There must be something we can do to help you. The only thing that matters now is continuing the Institute's work. It will be all right. We can talk more. If the Institute cannot mm -hmm. to that end, I am naming my father as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? He isn't one of us. He isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline, in the Institute has enough. I believe my father... This will conclude. Our advances will, in time, change the world. I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Father. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking. I can do the job. Of course you can. That's why I made the decision. There's no question that some of the Directorate and the Institute at large will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you. Uh -huh. There are hard decisions ahead. 